Ang buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice Available in white and brown varieties Mas mapapasarap ang kain pag masarap ang kanin Mi Ponica, just Ponica Help keep yourself fit without giving up rice Try tasty, fiber-rich brown rice Just Ponica Brown, Mi Ponica Brown From SL Agritech Corporation San Miguel Corporation, Malaya Business Insight, The Manila Times, Daijo Gem, Fine Jewelry at Unit 125S Mason, Marina Way Mall of Asia Complex, Origani, We Believe in a Beautiful and Natural Skin. Visit us at Bangsar Shopping Center and IOI Mall, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Royal Indian Curry House, Rich Restaurant. 5345 General Luna Street, Poblacion, Makati City, and Seaside Mall, Pasay City. Philippine Veterans Bank, a bank with a heart. Black Pearl Wellness Institute by Marisa Del Mar, 3rd Floor, Glorieta 5, Makati City. Southville International School of Foreign Universities, make the choice today for your tomorrow. Buhay o Prestige when luxury and quality meet. Black Pearl is the perfect combination between scientific professional skin care and high end skin care for personal use. Utilizing a cutting edge technology to combine authentic Black Pearl powder into its product line. Black Pearl has established itself as a market leader in the luxurious and prestige category of the beauty industry. Black Pearl caters to those who want to look and feel at their best to shine and glow as a pearl. Cleopatra Mask This unique facial mask combines 24 karat gold with black mud from the Dead Sea, enriched with vitamins, plant oils and extracts to deeply nourish the skin and enhance its natural luminosity. Visit us at the upper level, City of Dreams, Manila, and on the second floor of Glorieta 2, Ayala Center, Makati, Greenbelt 5, and Glorieta 5. Buhay Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako po ang inyong kapatid, Marisa Del Mar. At ito ang Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW. Ngayong gabi po sa Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW. Pangarap mo'y matutupan Sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikap Makakausap natin ang isang international fashion designer mula po sa Amerika pero Pinoy na Pinoy po siya. Gumawa po siya ng sariling pangalan sa larangan ng fashion design sa ibang bansa. I like designing clothes. I like making women look beautiful. I enjoy making nice things, accessories. So I created a small business, uh, good good business, and it was called Lisaso House of Barong and Style. Makakausap natin ang isang anak na mag-asawang OFW sa Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia, na si Dino Rakisa. Yung talagang gusto mong trabaho dito, hindi, yung importante ma'am, magtiis sila ma'am. Pag dito, iba yung culture niya sa pagkain. Huwag po kayong bibitiw ang lahat ng yan sa pagbabalik ng Buhay OFW. Ayon po sa U.S. State Department Human Rights Report, 400,000 ang mga babaeng naging biktima ng trafficking in persons sa Pilipinas sa loob lamang po ng isang taon. Samantalang lagpas naman pong 10 milyong Pilipinong lalaki, babae at bata ang naging biktima ng sex trafficking at forced labor sa buong mundo. 
Ang trafficking in persons ay pinagbabawal ayon po sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. Kung kayo po ay may kilalang biktima ng ganitong ilegal na aktibidad, ipag-alam lamang sa Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement or ATOM sa pamamagitan ng programang ito at sisikapin po namin kayong matulungan. Ang buhay OFW ay hatid sa inyo ng SP Land Incorporated. Set your sights on your new home, situated in the heart of Naik Cavite. Sterling Residence One offers you, the Filipino family, your dream home. Affordability, high-quality homes, security and comfort. Live the life of your dreams. Sterling Residence One is owned and developed. By SP Land Incorporated, a Sterling Paper Group of companies, Royal Indian Curry House, Rich Restaurant, 5345 General Luna Street, Poblacion Makati City, and Seaside Mall, Pasay City. The Global Education Leader, Southville International School and Colleges. Be amazing. Be Southville. The PACC extends welcome to our distinguished awards, honored guests, patrons, and supporters. Mom from the pillars of the criminal justice system, the mass media, cognizant of the digital social media. Paramount, we express our deep privilege of being joined by no less than the President of the Republic of the Philippines, the Freedom of the in the celebration for our 19th anniversary. Our advocacy is anchored in seeking justice for the life of the beloved, one violent and taken any account of an extreme killing which was so much happy. When the president was campaigning, he said six months, my eyes now. Then something now, one year. And now, because he's the president, he realized, he realized as a father of this nation, how enormous the problem in legal justice. So our award is now to so today's anniversary celebration. Both special awardees and big awardees. They are the standing men and women from the pillars of the criminal justice system, the government, the private sector, including the mass media. May I request uh, the, the parents of the sub 44 of these officers and men to stand up to be recognized, please. Buhay o F-W-U Ang narap mo'y matutukan Sa iyong pagsisikap Ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o F-W-U Bayan ni ka na totoo Dapat kong purihin ng bawat katulad ko Alipin sa ibang bayan Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Isusugal ang buhay kong kailangan 
tapi itu yang perlu justice to the victim under the DPP. I will kill you because you are destroying my family. Do not destroy the young of the DPP. Because yun ang amin kayamanan. Lalo nang sa vegetable gobyerno, kung mga polis na to, o sa zino dyan, wala kami ang kayamanan. Ako wala akong negosyo. I started very early as a prosecutor. So the reason why, you see now, how how I hate you. As commander in chief of all the armed forces, ang local officer supervision na ang presidente. Pero sa national government structure, mga kabinet, ay hindi complete supervision and control. What does control mean? Control is I can supervise. I can change a man or soft supervise for something that not. Pero yung kinahin ng ombudsman na yung supervision ng authority, kasi sa kabaho ng pulis. Kabaho ng pulis, yung kabaho ng presidente yan. Akin yan. Mabatag, particular chapter sa akin to say na kung ako ang mag-supervise, may inagaw ako, wala akong inagaw. Ako yung commander-in-chief ninyo. You should pay your authority. O ba, the police? I cannot usurp my own power. That is mine. Commander in chief of all armed forces, so not kayong lahat. Ano nang ano? Ano nang sinasabi niya? Ano nang sinasabi ko na? Ano nang sinasabi ko na? Maybe sabihin ko, matagal na ako dito si Vitalita, ang kuwi na sa'yo. Matalaman na ba? O listening to my ranting on the bus? Galit rin ako. Ano nang sinasabi ko? But with God's help. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for your message. Buhay o ang tawang yun, pangarap mo'y matutukan sa iyong pagsisikap. Ibang bahayan Ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Isusugal ang buhay ko Kailangan Nang ang mga minimit Pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat Buhay o FW, bayani ka na totoo Dapat ang purigin ng bawat katulad ko Narito po ang mga sinyales ng trafficking in persons ayon sa United Nations on Drug and Crimes. Ang aktong kriminal na pagre-recruit, pagdadala at pagkuha ng mga tao mula sa iba't ibang lugar. Paggamit ng dahas, panlilinlang, coercion, pagkidnap o pagtangay at pagbabayad sa guardians ng biktima. Ang paglalayo na gamitin ang mga biktima para sa prostitusyon at ibang uri ng sexual exploitation, forced labor or services, removal of organs, pang-aalipin at mga katulad na aktibidad. 
Ang trafficking in persons ay pinagbabawal ayon po sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. Kung kayo po ay may kilalang biktima ng ganitong illegal na aktibidad, ipag-alam lamang sa Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement or ATOM sa pamamagitan ng programang ito at sisikapin po namin kayong matulungan. Thank you so much to the 30th PMPC Star Awards for Television, Buhay OFW Award for Best Public Service Program for Action TV. Mabuhay po ang PMPC. Congratulations to our Head News and Public Affairs Chief, Ms. Luci Cruz Valdez, from your Buhay OFW family. Ang buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice, available in white and brown varieties. Mas mapapasarap ang kain pag masarap ang kanin. Mi Ponica, just Ponica. Help keep yourself fit without giving up rice. Try tasty, fiber-rich brown rice. Just Ponica Brown, Mi Ponica Brown, from SL Agritech Corporation. The Global Education Leader, Southville International School and Colleges. Be amazing, be Southville. Black Pearl Prestige, when luxury and quality meet. Black Pearl is the perfect combination between scientific professional skin care and high-end skin care for personal use. Utilizing a cutting-edge technology to combine authentic Black Pearl powder into its product line. Black Pearl has established itself as a market leader in the luxurious and prestige category of the beauty industry. Black Pearl caters to those who want to look and feel at their best to shine and glow as a pearl. Cleopatra Mask This unique facial mask combines 24 karat gold with black mud from the Dead Sea, enriched with vitamins, plant oils and extracts to deeply nourish the skin and enhance its natural luminosity. Visit us at the upper level, City of Dreams, Manila and on the second floor of Glorieta 2, Ayala Center, Makati, Greenbelt 5, and Glorieta 5. Buhay OFW! Nagbabalik po ang Buhay OFW. Maswerte po tayo ngayong gabi dahil makakausap natin up close and personal ang isang international fashion designer na kilala sa pangalang Lizaso House of Barong and Style. Kilalanin po natin siya. Boy Lizaso III. Buhay OFW! Magandang gabi po, Bum Pilipinas, at welcome po sa Buhay OFW. Binabati po natin ang mga kapatid natin sa Malaysia, UAE, United Kingdom, Singapore, Guam, Canada, sa inyo pong lahat, magandang gabi po. Maligaya po kami ngayon sa Buhay OFW dahil makakasama po natin up close and personal, a very well-loved Filipino fashion designer from Los Angeles, California at siya po ay nagmula sa Santa Maria, Bulacan. Kilalang-kilalang po natin ang ating direktor na si kapatid Nick Lesaso. Ngayon naman po ay makikita nyo ang the other side of Boy Lesaso III. Magandang gabi, kapatid Boy. How are you? Magandang gabi, kapatid Marisa. Boy, may I know how many years have you been living in the States? Close to 47 years. What are the major factors that you would say you love so much in the States and the major factors you love so much in the Philippines? The major factor in the Philippines is hospitality, mm -hmm. the food, the smiling people, although the lifestyle here is a little bit stressful around, the traffic, but they manage to, to smile. Yes. In the U.S., everything is quiet. Everything is a lot of room. Everything is planned ahead of time. At least a minimum of five to eight years of their time. So it's just a two different world. But the Philippines is very Americanized. Yes. You know, in music, in theaters, 
in clothing, lifestyle, looks, color of the hair. We are very, very, very Americanized. Yes. So any U.S. citizen can, be, can feel very at home, anytime. You started living in the States for so long a time and you have curved a name. Ang iyong Lizaso House of Barong, you know, Lizaso House of Fashion. Can you tell us more about it? Of course, uh, all my life, I, I like designing clothes. I like making women look beautiful. I enjoy making nice things, accessories. So I created a small business, good business, and it was called Lisaso House of Barong and Style. The reason there was a barong, I became well known in Los Angeles, California. Uh, I started displaying barong Tagalog. Mm, that's nice. Marami pa lang may gusto for their weddings, uh -huh. baptismal, Parties. This goes for the Filipinos and even the Americans. Are they and Americans it? who marries Filipinos. Oh, yes. oh my right. goodness. Uh -huh. And the other specialty things that I did, nakagawa ako ng patterns sa mga 4X Americans. Mm -hmm. 4 extra large, ah, okay. 5 extra large. Wow, so really Because big. they're big and tall oh, and wide. Oh my gosh. So you have your own patterns. Ayan. Ayan. That makes you different from everyone there. Because the, designing, the sizes ah? are, you yeah, cannot buy extreme. it here. Yes. Dito siguro, the most is double X, parang large lang That's yun. XXX already. Oh, I have double 5X. X. Wow, my goodness. Yeah. Ayan, when it comes someone for women, mga gowns for evening, uh -huh cocktails or Filipiniana night or wedding gowns, how well do you deal with them, especially sa mga clients natin sa U.S.? Ay, yun ang pinakamadali. Kasi, alam mo, ladies are the easiest to please. Kasi, alam nila what they like. They know the colors. Ang wedding, siyempre, may mga kulay. Uh, they enjoy showing up to their American friends ang mga, ang ating traditional na barong. Yes. Kasi yung meron, di ba? Meron yes, dito. Yes, Terno, Maria Clara, Terno, anything Maria Clara. to do about the Philippines. Siyempre, nandun kami, malayo, so they feel very at home. Yan ang number one. Kahit kami away for 47 years, 30 years, no matter what you, you do, you miss home. Okay. Ikaw lang ba ang nag-iisang familia mo na nasa States, na nasa US? Ah, hindi. Everybody is here? Or you have uh, 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 half are here and the other half are there. How many siblings do you have? I have, I think we are Five. Five. Sorry, hindi uh, ko na. Ilan yung nandito? Ah, nandito, uh, two. Oh, okay. And kilala mo, isa yes, sa kanila, si of course. Director Nick. Ayan. Of course, oh. di ba? Si Director Nick ngayon, ang head ng, sige nga. Uh, she's now the new, the current, and the new president of the Cultural Center of the Philippines. I think it's been only two months yeah, old. Yeah, two months ago. I, I heard about that. Direct, congratulations. You deserve <laughs> it. You, you know that very well. That's your line. No? Ayun. Ay, oh. Okay. Ngayon naman tatanungin kita, ano ang biggest break mo? Paano ka nabigyan ng break sa Amerika na magkaroon ka ng sarili mong fashion design studio and house of barong and style? Uh, I've been on my own since ako as far as I, I only had one employer sa USA, sa New York, Bloomingdale's. Okay. I was the, the, the head stylist, fashion display artist ng Bloomingdale's New York. And that was my first and my last employer. Ah, and, solo ka na. Yeah, kasi, okay. of course, you really want to be on your own. Yes. Pero I learned, How many years have you been with Bloomingdale's? Oh, I was with Bloomingdale's for five years. Five years. Okay. Uh, it was my school. You learned the rudiments. I, okay. It was my school. Mm -hmm. I met so many Good important people, people in yeah. my life. Uh, up to this day, are they still your clients? Uh, your no more. Uh -oh. okay. Then I went on my own now. Yeah. And uh, it takes a while to to get in investments. So, you know, it takes financial investment. It takes a while to prove yourself. Pero in the early 80s, I moved back to California, and that's the beginning of my Lisa. So House of Style. Sa California. Oh, uh, Los okay. Angeles. Nagkaroon ka ba ng partners dito sa Lisa so House of Barong and Style, or talagang solo ka? Ah, uh, solo. Pero I had an earlier investors. Pero just to begin yourself. And then, kiruha mo na yung stocks nila. Ako na yun. Ako na yun. <laughs> <laughs> Parang ganun na nga. <laughs> That's very good to oh. hear. Every time you're here in the Philippines, do you go and visit your parents, everybody, your relatives, or they come and visit you? Most of the time, we go visit them. We get together. Yun ang pinakamasarap sa buhay. Get together ng cousins and relatives. I always go make sure to visit Santa Maria Bulacan, where we are 
where we are from originally, na mga Lisaso, De Jesus at Lisaso. And that is the birth of the Pamana. Ah, oh, really? Because Jose Corazon de Jesus, yes, yes. Jose Batute, mm -hmm. is a national poet. Yes. And is a uh, uncle namin ni Derek Nick Lizazo. First cousin ng aming mother. And there is a marker on our ancestral home. And that's why I created one of his famous poems. Ang tawag doon ay Ang Pamana. That's oh, why... Oh, dini-claim ko pa yun na nalo ay, ko doon, ah. Ayun na nga. <laughs> that's why I created an uh, um, Pamana Awards USA. 33 some years ago, and I brought it to the Philippines. And dami to, dito na marami na nakareceive ng recognition. How many years mo nag-start ka dito sa Philippines ang Pamana? Ay, only two years ago. Two years ago, okay. And eight, eight dinner gala events. Oh, really? For the two awards night ng Pamana, eight gala events? Eight, di eight dinner gala uh -huh. events. Oh, eight wow. dinner gala. Oh, okay. In less than two years. Oh, that's very this nice. This year alone, uh, sa October, pang-apat ko ng event yan. And where will this be? It's Sunday going to be at Diamond Hotel. Diamond Hotel. It's okay. going to be Tuesday, October the 10th. October 10th at the Diamond Hotel. And October is uh, the most important event call of the year, every year in USA, because that's my birthday event. <laughs> it's your birthday! <laughs> yes. Wow. Kaya pala cute tayo pareho, kasi pareho tayo ng Zion, Libra. Libra. Oh, diba? Yo, anong Talaga birthday ni? 12. You're on the 12th. Oh, diba? I'm actually on the 6th. Okay. Uh, but I had to do it on the 10th uh, because yung mga may birthday kong bisita na October 5, uh, 6, oh, si 7, 8, lahat ng Librans are invited. Oh, that's very nice. And of course, you are cordially invited. You have My to pleasure. celebrate the birth. My pleasure. We're gonna celebrate together. Yes, wonderful. Oh. Nako, so bigyan mo ng mensahe, kapatid po, ang mga kapatid natin gusto magtrabaho pa sa abroad. Is it worth it o magstay na lamang sila dito at dito na lamang magtrabaho? Ah, depending on what you like to do in life. You know, ako nung bata, I've always wanted to be New York. This is, that was my dream. And I had to make sure I had to do it at my early age. So talagang susundan mo yung puso mo talaga. What you like to do, yung passion mo, yun ang talagang susundin mo. Yun lang ang number one payo ko to everybody. Sundin ang puso, kung may kumokontra, kailangan meron ding sumusuporta. Ganun ang buhay. Sundin mo yung sumusuporta sa'yo at saka puso mo. Yun lang talaga importante. Kung gusto mo dito sa Pilipinas at magagawa mo rin ng paraan to be successful, meron din paraan dito. Yes. Peso is working good. I'm so impressed with Manila, Philippines. Maraming successful din dito. Of course. Live your dream, ika nga. Always. Kailang, yung for every success, talagang parating may hardship yan, may trial Ay. yan. Pero you have to do the best that you can. If there's a will, there's a way. So yun lang ang dapat natin tatandaan. Yun lang talaga. Ah. And there's always hardship. And that's the best part of being successful yes. because you learn the hard way. Ganyan. Be a stronger person. Nothing easy. Yes. Nothing easy. Oh, tama, tama. What you're looking at here is always the hard way. Yes. Itong makeup na ito, ito ganda, puro hard way yan. I'd never use my name, Lisa, so no, because it doesn't work like that. Thank you so much, Kapatid Bong, sa mga ishinir mo, mga wisdom from your U.S. life at dito sa Pilipinas. At ang maganda pa niyan, hindi ka nakakalimot kung saan ka nang galing. To discuss further sa Kapatid yes. na television show mo, because there are so many other people that I think wants to be heard in the U.S. because they are being, they've been helping the Philippines Wonderful. quietly. Sure, we, we can do that. We can connect. Ako ang kanilang forefront. I yes. talked about them yeah. because kan sila maraming taong are not really into, uh, they're helping quietly. Ako nasa front ng lahat. Uh -oh. Thank Ganyan. you so much. Uh -oh. Nako, maraming salamat, kapatid boy. Siyempre, I'm very welcome. We will be looking forward at congratulations in advance sa October 10. Diba? And of course, Advance happy birthday to us. Advance oh, happy birthday to both of us. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, so thank, you. thank you for having me. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Katatapos lamang po ang pakikipagkwentuhan natin kay kapatid Boy Lisaso III, ang House of Fashion of Barong and Style from USA pero Pinoy na Pinoy sa puso at isip. Magbabalik po ang Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW! Ang mga taong lumabag sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003 ay maaari pong masintensyahan 
ng anim hanggang habang buhay na pagkakakulong at magbabayad po ng multa na 500,000 hanggang 5 million. Ang trafficking in persons ay pinagbabawal ayon po sa Republic Act 9208 or Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003. Kung kayo po ay may kilalang biktima ng ganitong ilegal na aktibidad, ipag-alam lamang sa Anti-Trafficking OFW Movement or ATOM sa pamamagitan ng programang ito at sisikapin po namin kayong matulungan. Katulad ko, Pilipino. Ang Buhay OFW ay hatid sa inyo ng SP Land Incorporated. Set your sights on your new home, situated in the heart of Naik Cavite. Sterling Residence One offers you, the Filipino family, your dream home. Affordability, high-quality homes, security and comfort. Live the life of your dreams. Sterling Residence One is owned and developed by SP Land Incorporated a sterling paper group of companies. San Miguel Corporation, The Manila Times, Royal Indian Curry House, Rich Restaurant, 5345 General Luna Street, Poblacion, Makati City, and Seaside Mall, Pasay City. Origani, we believe in a beautiful and natural skin. Visit us at Bangsar Shopping Center and IOI Mall, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Southville International School of Foreign Universities. Make the choice today for your tomorrow. Mga kapatid, napapanood niyo pa rin po ang Buhay OFW. Marami po sa ating mga kababayan na kung hindi ang tatay o ang nanay ang umaalis upang mangibang bansa. Iba naman po ang kwento ni Dino Rakisa dahil ang kanyang mga magulang ay parehong mga OFWs sa Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia. Buhay OFW! Nakapanayan po natin ang anak ng mag-asawang OFW sa Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia na si Dino Rakisa. Ano ma'am, kasi yung nanay-tatay ko is from the Philippines. Yung tatay ko is Tagalog, galing sa Odan ni Tapangasinan. At yung nanay ko is uh, from uh, Sambuanga, Pagada and City. And then, nag, nag sila dito sa Malaysia. Then, I was born here. Tinanong namin si Dino kung kumusta ang buhay-buhay sa Sabah, Malaysia. Mas magandang buhay dito, ma'am. Pag sa Pinas naman, gusto ko yung vacation lang ganun. Because yung mga ano ko doon, relative na doon naman eh, sa, sa Sambuanga at sa Maynila. Pero ang plano ko, Pag-asawa dito na lang mag-stay, ma'am. Pag sa Pinas, parang bakasyon na lang. Ganun. Siya po ay nagtatrabaho sa Hilton Hotel, Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia. Tinanong namin si Dino kung kumusta ang buhay sa Sabah, Malaysia. Dito, nagtrabaho ko sa Hilton Hotel. And actually, I'm involved in the hotel industry for 17 years, ma'am, since 2000. So, at this is my eighth job already work in the hotel industry, in the Hilton Hotel. And um, I'm 40 years old. On sa tingin ko ma'am, ang surety-surety ko ma'am dito nagtabaho sa Kota Kinabalu, Malaysia dahil ikumpara doon sa Pinas, ang buhay doon ang masyadong mahirap. Siguro kung dito, kung baga yung alimbawa ba bibili ng bahay tsaka sakyan, ang surety ko dahil pag dito, medyo madali ka lang maka, ano, bili ng kotse dito tsaka bahay. Pag sa Pinas siguro hindi ako makaroon ng sarili kong bahay tsaka kotse ganun. Ayon kay Dino kung siya ang papipiliin kung saan niya gusto mag-settle down in the future, 
sa Kota Kinabaluba, Sabah, Malaysia, or sa Pinas? Ang sagot ni Dino... Yung culture, ma'am, sa tingin ko dahil medyo pariw-pariw naman eh, yung Pinas tsaka dito. Yung kaiba lang, yung uh, pagkain, yung religion, ganun, yung tagayas natin, yung mga Tagalog at saka yung mga Bisaya. Yung taga rito, yung parang baga medyo may pareho naman eh, yung sa salita, yung sa pagkain, pero... Ang mas maganda dito dahil hindi masyado ka guys sa Pilipinas yung talagang open ano talaga yung kahit mag ano ano kontrolado di ba? Pag dito naman yung buhay dito parang ano ma'am relax ma'am. Kwento sa amin ni Dino ang mga magagandang attractions na matatagpuan sa Sabah, Malaysia. Pati ang mga bumibisita natin mga foreigners dito mula sa iba't ibang bansa. Dito sa Malaysia ay yung number one yung Mount Kinabalu. That is the number one attraction, Mount Kinabalu and the pouring of spring, ma'am. Dahil yung, itong Mount Kinabalu is 4,101 meters. It's the highest mountain in Southeast Asia. Kaya, kaya nga, karamihan yung ano dito, yung mga tourists galing sa Amerika, yung mga Europe, tsaka naman sa Southeast Asia. Dahil sa yung Raplisha, di ba? Yung ating one of the largest flower uh, in the world, Raplisha, dito sa Kota Kinabalu, ma'am. Dito mo makita, walang ibang lugar mo makita yung Raplisha. Mm. Tapos yung pinaka yung number two naman ang popular dito yung destination is di the Sipadan Island ma'am. Yung Sipadan is one of the top 10 ano yun eh uh, maganda na island sa buong mundo. Actually eh, ngayon di yung Puerto Princesa na yung number one ngayon top sa Pilipinas di ba? Pero yung dati uh, Sipadan Island is one of the top 10 in the world. Kaya nga yung sagaran yung mga taong dumating sa ano dito sa Malaysia, Sabah. Alam nila yung ano, si Padan Island. No. Oh. Tapos yung pangatlo ma'am, yung talagang gusto dito yung sa tourist yung mga island. Kagaya natin sa Pilipinas may Boracay, 'di ba? Dito naman, uh, yung popular dito yung Tunku Abdurrahman Marine Park Island. Kagaya ng Manukan Island, Sapi, Sulog, Mamutit. 'Yun ang one, uh, talagang pinaka ano dito. Gusto talagang bisita yung mga tourist dito. May payo po si Dino sa mga may balak magtrabaho sa Sabah, Malaysia. Kung paano makisama sa mga locals at kung paano rin po ang kanilang mga kultura. Sa tingin ko ma'am, karamihan yung talagang gusto magtrabaho dito, hindi, yung importante ma'am, magtiis sila ma'am. Pag dito, iba yung culture niya sa pagkain, tapos di ba sa atin sa Pinas, yung magsimba tayo sa linggo. Dito naman, pag magtrabaho ka, kailangan hindi naman linggo yung off day. Dahil minsan, Saturday o sometimes Monday o Tuesday, siguro kailangan natin, i-ano natin yung sarili, i-adjust lang mga pag dito. Nakwento rin po ni Dino, kapag may oras siya, bumibisita rin po siya dito sa Pilipinas para magbakasyon. Every two years, ganun. Every two years, kung bumabalik sa Pinas doon, bumibisita yung tatay ko sa Pangasinan, tapos yung nanay ko sa Samuanga. Binabati rin po ni Dino ang kanyang mga kamag-anak dito sa Pilipinas. Oh, batiin ko yung pamilya sa mga raki sa pamilya sa, ano sa Pangasinan o Renita, yung my fireside, at saka sa pagadian naman, yung mga bisaya, ang mga bisaya, doon yung mga uh, libutan, uh, libutan family, uh, molehon, uh, yung mga hamisola family, Uh, uh, no, talagang maganda yung buhay ko dito pero hindi naman ako magkalimot sa Pilipinas talagang mabakasyon din ako doon dahil yung blood ko doon talaga buhay Ang POEA po o ang Philippine Overseas Employment Administration ay may mahahalagang announcements para sa ating mga balik manggagawa o OFW Buhay o sa mga OFWs po natin na naghihintay ng kanilang OFW ID, may announcement po mula sa POEA. Hindi pa po nagbibigay ng OFW ID sa ngayon. Hindi pa tapos ang guidelines tungkol dito. Habang wala pang ID, sa bmonline.ph pa rin po ang exemption o appointment para sa OEC na mga balik manggagawa. Hintayin ang mga susunod na announcement para sa tamang proseso ng pagkuha ng ID ng mga OFW.
Ang Buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng San Miguel Corporation, the global education leader, Southville International School and Colleges, Be Amazing, Be Southville, Mapicon Philippines Inc., Your Total Pest Control Solutions, Rich Restaurant, Royal Indian Curry House, 5345 General Luna Street, Makati Avenue, Makati City, and on Seaside Boulevard, Pasay City, Daijo Gem, Fine Jewelry at Unit 125 S. Mason, Marina Way, Mall of Asia Complex. Buhay o FW, pangarap mo'y matutukan sa iyong pagsisikap ang araw ay sisikat. Buhay o FW, Origani. We believe in a beautiful and natural skin. We believe in nurturing the harmonious relationship between nature and science to bring you the finest in organic skin care. We believe you should not have to choose between quality and price. So let Origani be your luxury skin care solution because compromising on your skin care should not be an option. Visit us, Bangsar Shopping Center and IOI Mall, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Buhay Meron po tayong news advisory mula po sa POEA. Warning on fake POEA Facebook pages. The Philippine Overseas Employment Administration advises overseas Filipino workers to disregard job vacancies offered in fake POEA Facebook accounts. POEA officer in charge Bernard P. Olalia said there is a proliferation of Facebook pages that use the name and logo of the POEA to advertise job vacancies in countries like Australia, Canada, Germany, Japan, New Zealand, and the United States that were not verified or approved by the POEA. Some of the fake POEA Facebook pages such as Donald HR Serve, POEA Jobs Online, OFW POEA Jobs Abroad, POEA Jobs Abroad, POEA Job Hiring USA, POEA Job Hiring Australia, POEA Job Hiring UK, POEA Job Agency Hiring, POEA Trabaho Abroad Hiring, POEA Jobs in Dubai, Work Abroad, POEA Licensed Company, and POEA Accredited Licensed Agency. OIC Olalia said the official POEA Facebook accounts of the POEA are the following. Take note of this. www.facebook.com MyPOEA and www.facebook.com POEA.official The two FB pages have a check mark signifying that they are the authentic POEA pages as verified by Facebook itself. OIC Olalia advised applicants to validate first with the POEA the authenticity of the job offers offered through email and social media by using the online verification system at the website poea.gov.ph or by calling 722-1144 and 722-1155. Huwag tayong basta-bastang naniniwala sa mga job offers na gumagamit ng mga account na nababanggit ng POEA na mga fake recruiters. Buhay OFW! Ang Buhay OFW po ay handang magbigay impormasyon, tulong at serbisyo anumang oras, anumang araw. Ako po ang inyong kapatid na handang maglingkod, Marisa Dalmar. Kakampi kaibigan at kapatid ng mga manggagawang Pilipino sa buong mundo. Ito ang Buhay OFW. Buhay OFW, pangarap mo'y matutukan sa iyong... Ang Buhay OFW po ay hatid sa inyo ng San Miguel Corporation, Malaya Business Insight.
ito ay alang-alang sa minamahal Isusugal ang buhay ko kailangan Nang ang mga minimiti ay makamtan Buhay ko 